Hello everyone, I'm Timothy Mark David. Today I'm going to show you a video. This is an extract from Matilda by Roald Dahl. Matilda is a very special young girl. Only Miss Honey, her teacher, understands how special she is. Now we'll go on to the video. This is a video about Miss Honey's home. They came finally to a gap in the hedge on the left hand side of the road where there was a five barred gate. This way, Miss Honey said, and she opened the gate and led Matilda through and closed it again. They were now walking along a narrow lane that was no more than a rutted cart track. There was a high hedge of hazel on either side, and you could see clusters of ripe brown nuts in their green jackets. The squirrels would be collecting them very soon, Miss Honey said, and storing them away carefully for the bleak winter months ahead. You mean you live down here? Matilda asked. I do, Miss Honey replied, but she said no more. Matilda had never once stopped to think about where Miss Honey might be living. She had always regarded her purely as a teacher, a person who turned up out of nowhere and taught at school and then went away again. Do any of us children, she wondered, ever stop to ask ourselves where our teachers go when school is over for the day? Do we wonder if they live alone or if there's a mother at home or a sister or a husband? Do you live all by yourself, Miss Honey? She asked. Yes, Miss Honey said, very much so. They were walking over the deep sun-baked mud tracks of the lane, and you had to watch where you put your feet if you didn't want to twist your ankle. There were a few small birds around the hazel branches, but that was all. It's just a farm laborer's cottage, Miss Honey said. You mustn't expect too much of it. We're nearly there. They came to a small green gate, half buried in the hedge on the right, and almost hidden by the overhanging hazel branches. Miss Honey paused with one hand on the gate and said, There it is. That's where I live. Matilda saw a narrow dirt path leading to a tiny red brick cottage. The cottage was so small. It looked more like a doll's house than a human dwelling. The bricks, the bricks it was built off were old and crumbly and a very pale red. It had a gray slate roof and one small chimney, and there were two little windows at the front. Each window was no larger than a sheet of tabloid newspaper, and there was clearly no upstairs to the place. On either side of the path, there, were, there was a wilderness of nettles and blackberry thorns and long brown grass. An enormous oak tree stood overshadowing the cottage. Its massive spreading branches seemed to be enfolding and embracing the tiny building, or perhaps hiding it as well from the rest of the world. Miss Honey, with one hand on the gate which she had not yet opened, turned to Matilda and said, A poet called Dylan Thomas once wrote some lines that I think of every time I walk up this path. 